is your desk? A monitor, computer, chair, mouse, phone, and a cat. The only problem is that your desk was not designed for you. It has been built to suit the needs of anyone. If you spend hours upon hours each day slouching, drooping, and or sitting strangely, it will more than likely lead to discomfort and pain. At least, that has been the experience of some of us who have worked from home recently. That's where we come in. We're here to show you how to set up your desk ergonomically so that you can avoid ongoing pain later in life. Step one is to adjust your chair. The average desk height is 75 centimeters. For some, this could be too tall or too short, and that is where your chair comes in. The first thing that you want to do is to adjust the height. When you do, make sure that your elbows are bent at a 90 degree angle so that they align with the desk. If a person's feet are not touching the floor, this could become an issue. We're going to give them a footstool. If you don't have a footstool, it is recommended that a ream of paper be used in its place. Step two is to adjust your monitor. The focus here should be to ensure that the monitor is approximately one arm's length away from your head, so that you're able to read without having to strain your eyes, or to bend forward and adjust your posture. You want to raise the monitor upwards so that the top of the monitor is at eye level. If your monitor height is not adjustable, again, consider using reams of paper as an alternative. If you work from two monitors, consider how you use them. If you have a primary monitor, you want that directly in front of you. If you use both monitors equally, you want them lined up so that you are placed in the middle of the two. For a laptop or tablet without a kickstand, you may want to use a kickstand so that you're able to raise up the tablet or laptop to eye height. You can now install your external keyboard and mouse so that they are placed at an appropriate position in front of you. Where your hands end up is where your keyboard should be. Your mouse should end up being placed right next to your keyboard. You want to move the mouse from your elbow instead of from your shoulder so that you are able to prevent overuse, strain or pain. The key is not to reach for your tools. Step four is to position your phone. You want to put the phone on your non-writing side so that you don't have to cradle it with your shoulder, which may lead to neck pain. If you spend a good portion of the day on the phone, you may wish to consider using a headset. That way, you're free to write down anything or to type on the computer. After 10 or 15 minutes, we all begin to slouch in our chairs. Stretching aids blood flow through muscles, releases tension, and helps maintain a full range of movement. Stretches should be performed slowly and gently on both sides of the body and be taken to the point where a gentle pulling sensation is felt. However, it should not hurt. Here are some basic exercises that you can do. Number one, holding your hands out in front of you, scrunch and stretch your fingers. Repeat this five times. Number two, Hold onto a stable surface with one hand. Use your other hand to pull your heel towards your buttocks. Hold for 10 seconds and repeat with the other leg. Number three, drop your arms by your side and lightly shake your hands and arms for five seconds. Number four, gently pull your right elbow behind your head towards your left shoulder. Hold for 10 seconds and repeat with the other arm. Number five, interlace your fingers above your head with elbows straight. Gently push your arms back and up. Hold for 10 seconds. Number six, with your arms behind your back, gently pull your left arm down and tilt your neck and shoulders. Hold for 10 seconds and repeat on the opposite side. Number seven, with your palms together, fingers pointing to the ceiling, gently push the heels of your hands towards the floor and hold for 10 seconds. Number eight, with fingers interlaced behind your back and your elbows straight, Lift your arms behind you until you feel a stretch in your arms, shoulders, or chest. Hold for 10 seconds. Now, it's okay if you don't have access to a sit-stand desk, as the most important thing that you can do throughout the day is to get up at least every half an hour. Go for a walk, make yourself some food, and or grab a glass of water. The ideal posture mix for most people is 20 minutes of sitting, eight minutes standing and two minutes walking for each 30 minute period. Just get up and move about. That brings us to the end of our video. 
Thank you for your time.